Hi, my name is Tom Solon uh, from McQueen Emergency Group, and I'm here today to do a walk around on Farmington's Puck Impel Pumper. Uh, so the, the first thing that, uh, that sticks out about this truck is obviously the color. Um, white with a blue stripe on it. Uh, in the 1940s, during World War II, they actually switched to white because the cost of red paint was escalated. Uh, so ever since then, they've been going with white ever since. So American flag grill on the front. Um, you've got the front intake there, the front suction. Uh, in here, uh, front discharge obviously for a trash line uh, all the way up to uh, 125 foot in there. Uh, and then what that does is that's also uh, calves into the calf system for the truck. So it's going to give them a lot of uh, water and uh, firefighting capability off the front of the truck. Um, what you'll see up there is we've got the, the front visor light and um, the uh, Wayland Freedom Series light bar. Uh, West Coast style mirrors as we go along the side. Uh, TAC 4 independent front suspension. So uh, Farmington, Minnesota is a, is a town uh, uh, just south of the Twin Cities metro area and uh, anywhere Anywhere around Minnesota, we have uh, quite a few different bumpy roads and stuff like that because of the frost heaving. And so TAC-4 was big for them, give them a nice smooth ride as they're going out on calls and uh, uh, making the overall experience for them better. Um, moving on inside the cab here. Uh, so overall seating for the truck is six, um, which includes the... The uh, four SCBA seats in the back, SCBA seat in the front. They chose to go with the Impel because they wanted the additional space and elbow room inside of the cab to um, mount equipment and still comfortably uh, get dressed in it with their turnout gear. So inside of here, obviously, uh, Puck puck body on this one. Uh, down low we've got the two inch and three quarter inch cross lays but what they actually did was everything is plumbed for two and a half inch inside of here uh, and that's just to get a little bit better flow to it. Uh, and then up here they have a two and a half inch cross lay and then just a dead lay bank for uh, additional hose. Uh, moving on, this truck has the, uh, uh, obviously everything's color coordinated. Uh, they went with the Trident Air Prime uh, primer. Uh, it's got the Pierce uh, uh, Pump Boss uh, pressure governor, and as well as a Husky 3 foam system and uh, Hercules calf system. Um, Akron valves for the side and large diameter discharges, and then um, also a remote control extend a gun uh, for their for their deluge gun, so they chose to do cabinet uh, here for any of your appliances or adapters that you would have uh, to attach while working on the pump. Uh, one of the things that's kind of unique about this pump area for Minnesota is we we have to do things like this uh, rubber uh, around it uh, down below. There's a there's a heat shield and uh, there's also two diesel heaters that will heat this this compartment area because of the fact that we have the cold. All the way up to the fact that there's a gauge heater in here that keeps all the gauges heated uh, during the winter time. All right. In this compartment here, uh, they've got a slide out and build down tray that can be accessed with just pulling of one, one cord. They intend to put some lighter stuff on that, um, bags and smaller stuff. In this compartment here, we've actually got a slide out tray. And on it, they have a poly tray that they're using for um, floor dry. So uh, Pierce made that for us custom, uh, custom size so that we can take and, and put that on this truck. Uh, up here, these are uh, fully adjustable shelves with the with the bottom being a slide out. So, so 
So one of the one of the features to this truck too is it also does have the um, the puck uh, style ladder. So that gives them access to the top while having an incline to it. Uh, up above, something that's a little bit different with this one is we've got hatch compartments along the side, but what we actually did was brought the hose bed down on this puck. So typically the hose bed is going to be a little bit higher on it, uh, but even though this truck is holding a thousand gallons of water, we were able to bring it down. And if you look just above the netting up there, you can see a uh, location for the Stokes basket and the uh, backboard storage beyond the net. So um, bringing the hose bed height down was big for them because uh, as you know, NFPA and everybody is pushing to try and get those hose bed overall hose bed heights down. And uh, it's tough with the amount of water that they wanted to do, but uh, we, we got it to work. Uh, in the side here is your gonna be your ladder storage in there. Um, up above will be a uh, place for the uh, for a pike pole and a folding ladder. Uh, and then up here is where they plan to use hard suction storage. So that's uh, set up for six inch hard suction storage. And that storage is available from the top or from the bottom uh, with the hatch compartment. Right here on the back corner is a cone holder. Uh, so they actually have that set up so they can slide the, slide the cones onto it and then they're right there as they're on scene, they can be dropping cones off of the back of the truck, so. Moving into this compartment and obviously this is, this is where we get into quite a bit larger compartment space on the puck. Uh, this is a department that wanted a, a true to form rescue pumper. So this is set up to hold all of their uh, rescue tools. So a slide out tilt down here as well. Bottle storage on the sides, which is big uh, for departments to have additional bottle storage inside of the trucks. As you can see, this is the, the large compartment here. Down on the bottom, they're planning to do a uh, little giant storage down there, uh, as well as additional storage up above. So. Uh, really set up exactly to what Farmington was looking for as far as using this uh, for a rescue. Uh, the wheelbase that you'll see on this truck, very small, uh, and also gives you a lot of compartmentation. I mean, a thousand gallons of water and this much compartmentation is usually unheard of in the industry with keeping the hose bed down that low. So uh, those are all the things that Farmington looked at and that was uh, what was weighed into their purchase decision for this truck. So. All right, so one of the things I wanted to show you here is uh, we, we actually took and recessed the dash. Uh, they're going to have a tablet here and plugged in and charging, and uh, that's, that's the way that they wanted to design that. We also took and ran a plate across the top of the engine tunnel so that way anything they mounted to it would not be putting holes inside of the uh, engine tunnel itself. So thank you very much for uh, walking around with me on Farmington's truck. If you have any questions on this, let us know. Thanks.